Hello, everyone. I want to do this video. Um, I'm very bad at making videos. I don't like being on camera. Um, it's just weird for me. <laughs> very awkward. Um, but I felt it was important for me to do this. Um, because it's it's very important, especially to the African American community. Um, because recently I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Um, and it seems to affect mostly African American, especially women. Um, it's called sacerdosis. Um, and it's when you have inflammation that attacks your organs. Um, so in my case, it's affecting my, it's attacking my lungs, my liver, and my spleen. As of right now, it is suspected that it's attacking other areas, including my eye. Um, all this started probably about last year. Um, I could feel that something wasn't right in my body. Um, within six months, I couldn't work out the way I used to. Um, I couldn't move um, my hands. I'm losing my grip. Um, there's just a lot of physical things that are happening that I can tell this just wasn't right. So please pay attention to your body. If you feel something's not right, just keep going to the doctor. Sometimes they brush you off. Sometimes you feel like they don't care. But these people have taken an oath to put your health first. And, put, and to help you heal and do whatever they can possible to make sure you're healthy. Whether you have insurance or not, you are supposed to be treated right when you go to the doctor. And don't give up that fight. If you know something that is not right in your body, please keep going. So I've noticed I have spots now that I never had before. My hair, I'm losing, but I'm thankful that I have a lot of it. Because the way it comes out, I should be bald. But because I have a lot of thick, thick hair, you can't, you can barely see. But it's very noticeable through here. Um, and this is a struggle. I've been struggling with this in silence, um, like I said, for a little over a year. Um, just between me, my husband, and my kids. But I think now it's time for me to come forward um, and do videos to track my progress and um, to try to help people who may be suffering with something going on in their body and they don't know what it is, um, or someone that has sacerdosis. Um, and my goal for making these videos is I don't like taking medication. Um, I'd rather do things a little more natural. So I'm gonna be trying to drink like different like alkaline waters, um, eating anti-inflammatory foods and see if this will make a significant difference because in this with this disease um if it's a milder version it can go away in six months to two years after diagnosis um, with just some lifestyle changes in more severe cases where it is you know attacking other organs it could lead to other things such as heart failure and things like that so as a mother and a wife I want to be here for my family so as stubborn as we can be sometimes sometimes it takes a scare like this to get you on point um so, I'm just going to take you guys on this journey with me. I don't know where it will lead. I don't know where it will end. But I do felt, feel like it was important for me to share my story. And in hopes to help somebody else. Maybe something that I'm doing will help you. Um, or something I said will help you. Or if you're not feeling right, it'll get you to go to your doctor. And really, really um, keep going to get tested because like I said I could tell something wasn't right things were just changing and I would say look at this see that I would just say that it's like my skin is just ugh, it's not a good feeling um it's, it's caused me to have a lot of insecurities um and just you know it, it's a lot when you get diagnosed with a, a disease um it's the last thing anybody wants um so we definitely got to put our health first um and like myself, I work two jobs and I go to school, so the stress of all that isn't really helping my situation. Um, so lately I have been trying to relax more. Last week I was out on medical leave and just trying to relax. It's important that I give my body a lot of rest right now. I'm always a go, go, go type of person. So I guess this is, 
you know, my body's way of saying, I need a break and I need you to make me healthy or it will shut down. It's like I can physically feel my body shutting down on me. Um, I get very fatigued. I get off balance. I get like blurry night visions and things like that. Um, lots of pain. Um, so it's really no joke and it's no fun and it affects everything in your job, in your household. So it's important to me. I just turned 39, June 23rd. That was my birthday. And I would like to do this for myself and try to prove these doctors wrong by just making some adjustments to my lifestyle. Um, I got a lot of anti-inflammatory foods, drinking like ginger and um, turmeric. Um, that's good for um, anti-inflammatory grapes, um, blueberries, what else? I think avocados. There's just a lot. You have to go online and kind of Google you a list. Uh, alkaline water, like I mentioned before, um, which I was told by one of my clients that Trader Joe's have the most accurate. Um, this is all new to me, but this is just what she told me yesterday. Because um, I'm starting to be a little more open about it and not, per se, suffer in silence. Um and I think that's another thing that helps. You cannot keep this stuff to your, yourself because you don't know what information somebody else might have that could be helpful to you. And it could make a difference between life and death. So I feel like right now I'm in a fight for my life and I'm choosing to live. Um, so I got to make these changes and I would like to bring you all on this journey with me. Like I said, in hopes to help somebody else. Um, because this just seemed to come out of nowhere, in a sense. And they don't know what caused sacrosis, just like many other autoimmune diseases. Um, it could be environmental. It could be genetic. Um, it could be from chemicals. And trust me, everything we eat or buy or whatever have a bunch of chemicals. We're dealing with a bunch of chemicals in our life every single day. So these things are very unhealthy for us. Um, so I just we just got to get back to healthy eating, clean eating. Um, and I'm ready for it because I'm going to fight to live. You know, I have two teenage sons. And I would love to see what their future is going to be like. So in order for me to be here, i got to make some serious changes. You know, I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I don't know if, you know, where this is going to go or how to do this. Um, but again, like I said, I just felt like it was important. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time because... I'm very inconsistent when it comes to video posting and things like that. I've tried YouTube in the past. Um, I'm just not a person that <laughs> likes to be on video. Um, I don't like my voice on video. I think I sound weird, you know, the way you look. So it could be hard to just post videos. It comes easy for some people, but it's very hard for me. Um, but I'm just going to put myself out there and... Hopefully, me sharing this with you guys will help keep me motivated to stay on the right track. So, this is going to be helpful to me and you guys, whoever chooses to watch. Um, but I just wanted to kind of do a little introduction and explain why um, I'm making these type of videos and what's going on. So, stay on top of your health. When doctors tell you everything is okay, and if you feel in your soul that something ain't right, you keep going. Don't just take their word for it. Okay, because several times I went to the doctor, they told me, you're fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything is clear. But my body was like, nope. <laughs> something ain't right. Your hair don't just fall out like that. I understand head shit hair sh sheds I'm a hairstylist I know that but this is different I understand dry skin but this is different and I get these big like they're not even like pimples anymore so I don't even know it's just affected a lot of stuff I see all the changes